Hello everybody, Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and we will be reviewing AEW Dynamite. But before that, uh, I just want a eh, small announcement, but um, we're going to be putting things back on YouTube primarily because the account with Spreaker ran out. And I was hoping that by the time anything like this might have happened, that we would have uh, amassed a well enough audience um you know you listeners out there might spread the word you know like it, i've seen done for other podcasts maybe you know liking what we do and how we do it or letting us know where we are making hiccups or things like that and we couldn't mask the amount of traffic needed on spreaker so they had a seven dollar account and that ran out so once it ran out and it was time to re I had to renew, they want $20. And that's $20 per month. And the most I could generate per month was, uh, I think I got as high as $0.11. Cent, and they won't pay anything under $10. So the, the, that's not worthwhile or sustainable to lose that kind of money. Um, I understand YouTube is simple. It's right there. You get notifications and all this. It just would have really helped to push with us. You know, YouTube owned by Google is not, um, the best thing. A lot of people dislike it, but they won't leave it. A lot of people wish that there was better, but they won't go to what could be better. So this, I mean, <laughs> This is the part where I fail because in my personality, you know, I'm, I'm doing my part, you know, takes help. You know, it, it takes us all to move away from the things that we don't like to the things that would be better. It takes a group effort. Um, so for those of you that did come to Spreaker um, and, and listened and whatnot, I, I straight up thank you. I really do. Um, it's appreciated, you know, you know, no victory for us, but you know, the, the fact that you joined the fight was amazing. So thank you so much. So with that, we're going to get into this review. Um, so Goon comes out versus, and I see Ricky Starks come out. So I was like, oh, so it's going to be all Atlantic title. And I wrote, you know, I saw Big Bill and Cedric was like, it's going to be Bill. And I was, when I saw Ricky come out, I said, oh, God damn. <laughs> and then I, and, you know, she goes, it's Big Bill. And I was like, now still, God damn. <laughs> so it's Goon versus Big Bill with Ricky Iron Man Starks. That, that's what I wrote. Iron Man. <laughs> Just picking on us and Tony Schiavone. <laughs> So, Ricky was fun to watch as he played off doing anything, and then when the ref turned his back, he ran and stomped on Goon, getting booed from the crowd. Yeah, it was great. Yep, it was... Ricky's just really, really good. At what he does. Yes. Very much so. They go to a commercial, come back, Goon is bleeding profusely. I was like, what? You know, we didn't watch the picture in picture, and all we can say is the hell yep the replay company doesn't show how it happened so big bill gets the spinning boss man slam his finisher and goon kicks out on two goon hits his larry then bill kicks out on two note big bill needs to lose via dq uh big bill with a boot kick for a two count that's another one of his finishers Brian Danielson, he runs in, attacks Starks with a flurry of punches. Starks throws him into the uh, steps. And I noticed that he's, uh, uh, that Danielson is attacking with his right arm. So let's just hope that it's, it's, it's all good. Um, Big Bill hit a choke slam. I mean, a high angle choke slam for a two count. That's another one of his finishes. Yep. Um, and then. Starks is trying to get into the ring, can't get in. Brian Daniels is holding him down after making a comeback. And then Starks is telling Bill to keep fighting. Bill taps out to a triangle choke that was applied when he went for the grounded 
Goozle to pick him up and choke slam him. So Big Bill taps out when it. Whoo! So Starks attacks Brian right afterwards. Then helps Big Bill attack Goon. Yeah. Stark takes off his shoe and starts pummeling Goon with it. So that was just that beautiful. That was great. Claudio runs in and saves Goon. Starks and Bill slowly walk back from the ring. Starks yells that, you know, you broke my pearl necklace. You broke my chain. You broke my, you broke my pearls. So, this is all that they had to do. After going through such a big match and Goon kicking out of all the finishes, that's when it would have behooved Big Bill to get angry enough to start strangling Goon in the corner and have him strangled dominantly. The ref puts on the five count DQ and just still strangling him and starts fight off Danielson, run in and start helping and start smacking Goon in the back of the head or the side of the head with his shoe. And then all this other stuff could happen. That way Big made Bill sense. still looks good. And here here is what did happen. Big Bill tapped out. They had a little fight thing. He walks off with Ricky looking like he's fine. Yep. Now, let me tell you something that I noticed in the match. We all know, and one of the things that we detest of many about Goon is that he doesn't sell anything. Yeah, early on in the match he had to. Now, in the prior to this, in the attack that led up to this match, <clears throat> Big Bill hit him with a boot. And... The man who doesn't sell anything was rolling around the ring, making sure his teeth were still in his face. When he kicked him in the face, when he, that that running front kick, mm -hmm. you know, you could see Moxley's head snap. Mm -hmm. I mean, a snap like it was a potato, maybe. Uh huh. And then in this match, you know, you can see when Goon's not selling stuff, but then when he gets clocked, which he did several times, especially with that very pretty cool gray. And, and and darker gray Timberland that Bill had on his foot. He let he 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 laid him out. Now who knows why Goon started bleeding? Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm jumping the gun or not. But who knows if Goon started went through Goon started bleeding? But I thought this was over in the back, and it wasn't Renee who did the interviewing. The, the BBC, excuse me, the BCC, <laughs> the BCC was back there, and I don't know who was yelling. Was it Danielson that was yelling something? I think so. And Goon was in the shirt, in the back, trying to negotiate himself back into a sweatshirt. Yeah, but Like not... he was having a very serious problem. Uh-huh. Goon was not there. Goon had stood in the ring and outside the ring, bleeding, beating himself in the head, and cutting promos many times. Because that's just what he likes to do. But this particular occasion, after that match with, with, with Big Bill. And this is the first one, not, to not, the, not, yeah, not the attack. Not. This is, this is the, the actual match. His bell was wrong. You could tell. Okay. From the man who doesn't sell anything, he was selling stuff against his will. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. And it doesn't make any sense for you to be the one who sells nothing and then suddenly sell it all. That's it, why that's why I'm saying it's probably a little more legit. It's probably. But see, that's that should be the magic of pro wrestling. You don't know what's legit and what's not. But when you're a goon and everything you do has to look <laughs> so real that you actually do it for real and you're doing stuff to try to get it. He might be trying to do this stuff just to get out the company. You know, I don't know. But um, all he had to do is not sign the contract. That's true. <laughs> but he wants those millions, though. So BCC cut a promo backstage. And suddenly Lucha Brothers come in arguing with that Phoenix is going to beat Goon. They are all parted and Claudio stands facing Kingston. Kingston says, one more week and backs up laughing. Next, Hook plans to talk to Renee, but about his title but Cassidy walks in they say uh, that each other are great champions lazy fist bumps Renee asks how Cassidy's doing he says he's still so tired the crowd laughs Tony Storm versus Hikaru Shida w wait nope there's a sign that reads watch for the shoe <laughs> and I know that Cedar and I are tired <laughs> of seeing these two wrestle oh Nyla Rose comes out I'm like, I was like, what? 
okay, so you know the the biggest dominant job is coming out. Okay, mm-hmm. so what's going on? Britt Baker comes out. I'm like, okay, Sigh. what's going on? I, I, well, we don't know what's going on. They, I can't recall them mentioning a four way or anything. And if if they did, we just didn't pay attention because it's them. And then no, nothing said. Uh, so they all started fighting. So it must be a four way. Uh, at first, all but um, Storm was knocked down, and Nyla was standing over them. Tony rolls in the ring in front of Nyla and poses. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best part of the match. Nyla grabs her and says, "Have you lost your damn mind?" And goes back to start like, oh, "I'm gonna hit you in a in a special way." Yeah. That's how she looked. I'm gonna hit you in she a special way. Grab her by the way. back of the head and reel back, and then something happened. Yeah, everyone wait outside for Sheeta to dive on them. She's safely caught and they fall down slowly. Note, skip. Storm wins with the schoolgirl on Britt Baker. Sockface says that she stole the win. Stupid ass. Just stupid. It's a four-way match. It's legitimately, you know, look. Look out for Umino. 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 I can't. Numero. Umero. Numero. I can't say it. Numero. Uno. And I'm not editing out. Shit. <laughs> say it for me. Numero uno. Okay. Thank you. Because I cannot get it out. You got to look out for number one. <laughs> she... Sometimes tongues don't activate. And, and mine's not. It's staying flat against my teeth. It's not coming up. <laughs> it's just like, hey, you know, work it out, bro. And I'm like, I need your help. And you're not getting it. <laughs> but... Yeah, you know, how how are how, how you steal a match? How you steal know. the match? You know, I can see if she busted her in the back of the head with uh, uh, an object illegal object and then got the win. I can see that. But uh, this is why it's best to not listen to the commentary on them. Um, oh, yeah, I jumped with my words, but at least you got a laugh out of it. <laughs> not that she was cringed. But she just mad at Britt Baker for a low sidekick to break up a pin. I'm like, what it's a four it's way. A, what are we supposed to do? She, Let you get it? Really? <laughs> she's supposed to hit you. It's just stupid. I don't want you to win. I want to break up the pin. I'm going to kick it inside of the head, and you're going to fall towards the direction of the blow instead of away from it because, you know, green. So Renee and is backstage, Ruby and Soraya backstage, and, uh, the green is gone from their attires and Grand Slam. Tony says that it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, no, Soraya says it's going to be her and Tony Storm and she's going to win and that Tony's gone crazy. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Jericho and Sammy talk. They plan to fight each other at their best. Okay. Renee with better than you, Bebe and MJF cut a promo using uh, Scott Steiner level math to say Joe doesn't have a chance to win, but the math was to prove how he was going to choke Joe out. But okay, it is what it is. Brian Cage versus Adam Page. Uh, I know we know Cage is going to lose. Uh huh. Nana no, had a damn good suit. I'm not a fan of green, but he worked it. Yeah, nice gradient green. Yes, Adam Page wins with the dead eye and then the pin, and after the match. Uh, Paige is on the mic. Paige is blown up. Says that he's gonna. Uh, says that Swerve doesn't have the balls to do it, get it done himself. Swerve that the, Swerve, Swerve says that the people are as dumb as the Cincinnati education system, and he got so many boos. Then he says they'll, but he says that they'll fight when it's good in time when he wants it, and on October first at Wrestle Dream in Seattle, Washington. It's going to be whose house? And they all shout Swerve's house. I'm like, yes, you all just proved that y'all are dumber than shit. Mm -hmm. You all just proved it. Hey, since y'all are as dumb as Cincinnati's education system, boo, whose house? Your house! Good grief. Yep. They're all from Springfield. Yep. They're all Springfieldians. It's almost like when Republicans do stuff to take away everyone's rights and freedoms and blame everyone else, so they all blame blame everyone else with the Republicans and then vote for those same people in and they wonder why they can't get ahead in life. But they keep blaming the enemy that isn't the enemy. It's just it's just one of those things. You know? And it's like Mm -hmm. thank you for proving him right. 
<clears throat> and I know I'm going to get a, a downvote for that because, you know, the people that would downvote truth are just stupid. If you downvote truth, you are stupid. You know, just eat that. You know, I ain't trying to pick on anyone. I've not mentioned a name. I've not mentioned an area. I ain't mentioned anything of anyone who may do the downvote. But if you downvote truth, you are stupid. So just take that with you. Hmm. Don't mention yourself because then you done called yourself out. So he just got done burying them in the education system and they changed the name. They're proven right. So now Daniel Garcia talks to Renee in the back and Don Callis walks in. Garcia does his dance and that piques Don's interest in him. Odd as hell, but okay. Darby yeah. Allen and Nick Wayne come out versus Matt Menard and Angela Parker. You know who's going to win this. They get started, kind of, and Christian Cage comes out with his music and Luchasaurus. And Darby Allen with a coffin drop on Menard while Wayne flips to the outside on people waiting for him. So Allen wins with pinfall. And then after that, Cage talks on the mic, says he's going to Wayne's mom's uh, social media post to demand more bikini pics. And okay, then makes a match for uh, Allen and Sting versus he, he, Christian Cage, the TNT champion, and the most complete big man in the business, Luchasaurus. And I'm like, wow, Com dude. Complete with what? You know, so then we get Roderick Strong versus Samoa Joe in the main event ish, the main event. So. You know, in the beginning, Joe used a wrist lock headbutt uh, on the bent hand of Roderick Strong. And this was a really good match. They showed how they are pros in the ring. Yeah. Except Roderick. Roderick is on a silent mission to bury AEW, I think. You think so? It's a silent mission. He's there. He performs like, you know... I mean, like a thoroughbred. It's just what he do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold up. I'm going to get to it. Joe wins with the sleeper chokehold. After the match, Joe gets a mic and says that the prophecy has come true and that he's coming to Max's hometown and taking everything from him. Everything. So, past the promo, Adam Cole comes to the ring after Joe has left. Roderick falls out in the ring holding his shoulder after a light twist from uh, Mike Bennett. Roderick calls for Adam to help him. Adam! Adam! Wait a minute now. You, 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 no, me no, you messed no. up the build up to it though. No, come on. No, no. We, he you was, he was standing in the ring and then Bennett kind of grabbed his arm like this weird half last second looking thing and just kind of moved it a little and then he's like he just falls out. That's not, I'm telling you, you missed it. He was in the ring with the kingdom who don't wrestle anymore. And they were trying to get him to put the neck brace back on. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Put the neck brace back on. I don't need it. Oh, Roderick, I didn't see that part. I was watching. I didn't even see Roderick that. Roderick turns around because he's fine. He turns around. He sees Adam coming down the ramp and falls out like a murder victim. Okay, so it happened like that? Yes. See, I was watching, and I couldn't really tell what was going on. And then I see Mike Bennett get his arm and do this weird wrist lock for like, I don't know, a quick twist, but barely doing anything. And then he just fall out. Ah! And I'm just like, okay, you know, just. I, I didn't see that. But when he turned and saw Adam, this is when he felt like a body and started screaming. Okay. And holding his neck. Screaming for Adam. Adam! Adam! And so they come and do the whole neck brace backboard, the whole nine. I have heard Roger Strong talk quite a few times. And I swear he's lighting his voice on purpose just to mess around with something. He's doing something on purpose. He's trying to sound like some goofy nerd or something. I don't know, but I'm like... The whole situa situation equates to this. Girls with a guy. Guy's like, you know what? I'm not feeling this anymore. I'm out. She calls him. I'm pregnant. He's like, it's not mine. I'll kill myself. That's that's how this is playing out. Yeah. This is how this is playing out. Right. And look, look. 
the trainers come out with the gurney and Roderick holds his neck. That thing he didn't hold the whole match. That's what I'm like. This dude comes with a neck brace that looked like he's been played around with about with, with a five year old for about two weeks, and then he he doesn't sell the neck during the match, which he takes severe bumps on, or at least uh, uh, alluding to on what they're trying to say is damaged when you do when Joe does certain moves or when he lands on his uh, shoulder blades doing his own moves. So. And then all of a sudden, you know, the match is over. Oh, my neck, the damage, the pain. You know, it's, uh, it's like the opposite of my neck hurts. Okay, stay home. At home, I'm fine. Go back to work. My neck, my poor neck. This is, I'm at home and I'm doing nothing. My neck is killing me. I go to work. It's fine. Until. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm like, what is he really doing? Um, and then Taven shouts that, you know, you came out, Adam, and this happened. Is I'm like, y'all are some ex machina, you know, blaming stuff. Mm-hmm. Adam follows up the ramp trying to uh, be at Roderick's side. And Adam is more or less convincing. I'm going to give it that, but he ain't got much to do. Roderick's not supposed to be convincing. Adam. I know, but Roderick, the, the antithesis. He's not supposed to be, he's supposed to be see-through like seed swax with cheese. I think that's the whole point. Yeah. Like, I'm not really doing anything, but But I'm, he's trying to, he's trying to use pain and sympathy to get Adam away from NJF. But it doesn't look believable to anyone watching slightly. That's what I don't get. That's what I'm like. He's doing something. It's, you know, it. You know, like the whole time this dude is, oh, my neck, I hurt so much. Oh, please do not touch thy neck. Oh, the pain. And everyone at home is like, this dude, ah, that's funny. But then everyone around him is acting like it's outright serious. That's why I'm like, what is going on? I don't get this. You know, I think think it's they're, they're, they're trying to be maybe comedic you know they walk around in shirts that say neck strong yeah dudes in a, a neck brace neck strong he comes out there they do the unveiling where they remove the neck brace and he wrestles but as soon as the match is over ah my neck yeah is that's that's the angle it's weird but adam is you know, you know, Roderick's on the gurney. He's being hauled off, and Adam is yelling at Taven. And then Joe runs up from behind and chokes Adam out. He got a lock on him. Mm-hmm. Adam's wonderful. head is engulfed in Joe's arms. All right, he Joe got him, and he's looking at the camera, letting Max know that he's taking everything from him. And and Adam Cole, he is down and out and twitching on the ground. And she's just loving it. And then I'm like, yeah, he's selling the good. He's like, he ain't selling nothing. That's not what I said. What'd you say? I said, fuck him. You're so vulgar. Hey, you got to get it right. So Joe stands over him like an unruly beast, just looking unbeatable. The way he should. He should have stomped on his face. What is... Are we going to have another Adam Cole conversation? No, no, we're not. Cause I win. Oh, you win until he gets in the ring with Joe, foot jabbing for all eternity, and then he wins the all-way television title. What you, you think that's what's going to happen? If they wrestle, that's what's going to happen. Just like CM Punk was terrified in the ring, and Joe lost. CM Punk was never there. Oh, that's right. He was a figment of everybody's imagination. Nothing we, ever, nothing ever happened. We were all delusional. There's no storyline. There's nothing that, no altercations or anything. We're all steeped in lunacy. Not, hey, look, he's not there now, so he was never there. It's just how that worked. Uh, so what do we got? What are we gonna watch after this? That was the main event. Yeah, that was that was it. There's Ring of Honor that's up, and uh, Rampage will be over eventually. It's probably over now, or... It don't start till 9, does it? Oh, okay. 
we can speed through Ring of Honor, um, and then watch and, and watch the uh, Athena show, because mm-hmm. I, I I love her and the minion. The mm-hmm. minion is awesome. I I, just, I can't. I want Athena to corrupt her, and and they become a force in a tag team division, starting for the women, and they get the you know, Ring of Honor women tag team belts. That would that would be good, um, because Athena and the Minion, amazing. Uh, so look, that's gonna do it for us right now. So this has been Cedric and Cedric for CRWC, and this has been our review of All Elite Wrestling Dynamite. So with that, y'all be chill, be good, be safe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>